Real Madrid made a number of signings, didn't they, over the summer? None of them, though, started it in that draw at the weekend against Valladolid. In fact, it was a bit Carlo Ancelotti-esque. Mm -hmm. uh, Courtois being the newest of the signings who were on show really didn't work. It was a terrible performance from Real Madrid. What's the damn thinking, turning back the clock like this? He's just hoping somehow everything will click back into gear? Well, that somehow this, this group together goes back to 2015 and what the sort of players that they were back then. Uh, look, there's a lot of options for Zinedine Zidane. There is a lot of choices and a lot of decisions to be made. And part of the decisions and part of the things that Zidane has been successful with in the past has been managing all these options yep. and all of these decisions and being able to massage certain situations and the players responding to him in a big way in big moments. That has been the success for Zidane with Real Madrid. What he has to be careful with is that, in, in my opinion anyways, is that, you, you, that you're holding on to the past of what these players used to be and what they have been in the past for you as a manager and that you're not quick to react and jump ahead of the curve understanding that some of these players are no longer the productive players that they once were, the productive talent that they once were. Making that transition is not only difficult for players, yep. but it's also difficult for managers to disconnect themselves from this guy, I trust him because he can do this for me. Well, he was able to do that for you years ago, maybe not so now. So where's Zidane? He's a step up. Well, one of his <clears throat> many problems is there's at least two players in that team that know that he does not want them anywhere near mm -hmm. the football club. Yep. And James Rodriguez and Gareth Bale. That's crystal clear. So he's now having to go back to the well and ask them to perform for him. That's always difficult, although Bale played well, I think, in match day one. Uh, that's going to be difficult because a player knows that. The other side of the coin is another two players in the team, Inisco and Marcelo, that completely switched off last year. Yep. When they were going through the, the turbulent times with managers and interim managers, Santi Solari, they threw the towel in. Uh, and so you're having to go back and ask and, and, and try and basically plug it in again and make it go. And that's not going to be easy because you need to freshen it up. Now, there are some fresh faces there, but as you yep. pointed out, they're, they're, they've not been playing at the moment. And it doesn't look as if it's going to be anything. In fact, I was talking yesterday to somebody and I, I don't think it's absurd to think they're going to finish third again. Oh, mm. definitely. I, I From what we've seen this weekend, it's very diplomatic argument as to why they're going to finish first or second. Correct. Uh, Which is not exactly where they thought they were going to be in the summer. No, of nope. course Chasing not. Tom, Dick and Harry yeah. and to make signings and... Yep. You know, uh, meanwhile, Barcelona, mm -hmm. after a, a terrible start, big win, and the key to it, and it was interesting what you were saying when you were last on the show, Ali, Antoine Griezmann mm -hmm. has come in and done exactly what Coutinho was unable to do. And Coutinho could never make a connection with the Barcelona fans, with his performances, with important goals, with moments, just one of those highlight real moments that you say he put the team on his shoulders yeah. and carried Barcelona to a win. And early on, as early as it may be, Barcelona needed that kind of performance. And I mean needed that kind of performance from Antoine Griezmann because let's not forget, Barcelona were losing this game 1-0 mm -hmm. and he was looking at lot like, oh my goodness, it's Carles Perez on one side and it's Rafinha on the other side. Who's going to come up with the goods? Who's going to be productive? And Antoine Griezmann had that moment at the camp now where essentially everybody now embraces Antoine Griezmann and says, that's our guy. Yeah. What happens is when... They're all fit again, though. Yeah, Does yeah. Antoine That's Griezmann it. go back onto that left-hand side? Mm -hmm. yep. And we don't see the best of Antoine Griezmann. That's what Valverde's got to do. Uh, Sevilla then and Atleti, the only two teams 100%. Atleti, of course, with two 1-0 wins. <laughs>